Pets are things that have a natural place in the ecosystem, but to humans, they interfere with our comfort, health, food, possessions, or what we deem to be a problem with the environment. So take example for flies. They are annoying, they spread disease, and they get into our food stores and then their babies cause it to rot faster. Beetles, on the other hand, um, they also get into our food supplies, certain types of food stores, um, and so we consider them to be pests, even though in the ecosystem they're super great decomposers. Um, things that bite like snakes and spiders and mosquitoes we consider to be pests, but in the ecosystems in which they live, they serve perfectly reasonable functions. Um, since they bite us, we don't like them. They also spread disease, fleas, ticks, rats and mice, um, things like mosquitoes, which are the number one killer on the planet, not only bite us and are a nuisance, but they also can carry diseases that are a real problem for people to live through. Termites in forests serve a really great purpose by decomposing fallen timber, but we deem them to be pests when they start attacking our structures, which are actually built out of old timber. You can see here in my backyard, this is a little line of termite damage that is in my kid's playhouse. And they just come in and they just, you know, burrow along and they eat some food and stuff and they basically will um, completely destroy a human made structure, uh, which isn't a very great thing in our civilization. A few birds are pretty cool because they're pollinators and they spread seeds and they eat bugs that cause us discomfort. But a whole flock of birds makes a whole flock of poop and that poop can be a nuisance to humans in our cities and also destroy stone structures. Who doesn't love a beautiful grass lawn or field is the perfect place for a picnic or to play a game of frisbee. But when grass grows between sidewalks or in the middle of stone walls, people see it as a pest and it needs to be destroyed. When humans decided to stop foraging for food and growing our own in fields, guess what? everything else wanted in on that nutritious soil and all that water that we were applying to it too. The weeds came and started stealing nutrients out of the soil and the water that was in them and sometimes even choking out the plants and taking all their sunlight. Then came all the insects. Sawflies decided they're just gonna eat the holes right into the leaves of the plants. Then we had beetles that came along and they just eat the root systems. And aphids will suck the sap out of the plants and transmit diseases. As I walk up to my plants, can you hear that? Those are aphids. And if you look carefully here, underneath of these leaves, they're literally on my phone right now. Uh, you can see them under there, right? And they've come and they basically completely destroyed my lovely little plant here. My great plant. Makes me very sad, but it's part of uh, life with agriculture. There's mites that eat the underside of the leaves and impact the plant's ability to conduct photosynthesis so that they can grow and make food. And the nematodes that attack all parts of the plant and live in the soil sometimes for years. Um, there's also other pests that come cyclically like cicadas and grasshoppers, and they will completely swarm and decimate a crop within a matter of days. Environmentally, pests like to plague our forests. We have sawflies, again, right, that'll come in and they'll eat all of the foliage off of the plants. There's also bark beetles that love to eat up and burrow underneath of the bark and destroy the tree's ability to stay insulated and protected from the winter. There's so many more pests than I mentioned here. Bacteria, viruses, and fungus also will affect plants and animals and humans. And so the course of human civilization has been a constant battle with these pests trying to mess with our ability to survive. So what are we supposed to do? We fight back. See the next video about pesticides to find out how.